Over the years of Nitrotype, there have been a lot of seasons. Some good, some not so good, and some absolutely terrible. In this video, I will be talking about the best Nitrotype season that we have had so far. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because it helped because one, it helps me out a lot, and two, we are very close to hitting 800 subscribers, so let's hit that milestone. Before we get into what I think the best Nitrotype season is, there are over 50 seasons of Nitrotype, and I've narrowed it down to two possible candidates for the number one season. I will leave it to you guys to decide what the best season in all of Nitrotype is after that. And I should also mention that while I could say that this is opinion based, it's not because I'm sure we can all agree that at least one of the seasons I'll be talking about is the best of the best. Before I talk about those two seasons, however, I made a list of Nitrotype seasons that were good, but not exactly top tier. Season 33, Sea of Riches. Season 37, x Max 2021. Season 47, Summer Safari. Season 48, Back to School. And last but not least, Season 50, x Max 2023. There are a lot more than that, but that's, I, I don't know, I want to save time, you know? Anyways, Season 27, Neon Spring, is the first season that we will be talking about in this video. There is a lot to be said about this season, and I'm aware that there are a lot of opinions circling the season, so I'm going to try to address every argument that could be made against and for the season being the best Nitrotype season ever. The first argument that I'm going to address is the argument that this season did not give enough cars to free players, which was true. There was only one car in the season that free players were able to get, and it was a tie green, which wasn't terrible, but compared to other rewards, I could see why people would be upset. You have to keep one thing in mind though. This season served as a sort of revolution for Nitrotype because it was the first ever season that had a tiered system. So the season was a new thing for Nitrotype players, and looking back, I think the Nitrotype developers didn't do that bad of a job considering that it was their first real season. The only real problem I think people had with the season was the fact that it only had one free car to offer for free players. People complained, and that's why all of the season rewards either return to the item shop or as season rewards because I own every single car from that season despite not having Nutra Type Gold at the time. The rewards in the season were also brand new and not returning like seasons are nowadays. I mean, come on, it brought us the Error 500, which is one of the best cars in the entire game, and sure, the animation kind of ruined it, but I still think it's great. All in all, considering that this was Nitrotype's first real season, they did a really good job with it, and you have to remember that it was during COVIDs too, so that uh, made things a little more difficult, but despite the circumstances, the season was amazing. That's all I have to say about our first candidate, so what about our second candidate? Well, you'd have to fast forward over two years later to get to Season 44, x Max 2022. Before we talk about this season, we need to talk about some other seasons that were around during the year of 2022. That year was not the greatest year for Nitrotype seasons. We had Nitro Arcade, which didn't need to be split up into two separate volumes. We had the Back to School season, which is very underwhelming compared to other Back to School seasons and events. And we had Nitro TV, which is really just a dry season. Despite these somewhat bad seasons, Nitro Type was still able to end the year on a high note with x Max 2022, which had 7 cars, 3 cars for gold members, and 4 cars for non-gold members. I really want to focus on the cars of the season because I think cars have the biggest impact on how people like view seasons. Uh, let's start off with the first free reward, the Winter Wonder. I was really surprised when I saw this car and was even more surprised to find out that it was free because for a free car I mean it's pretty insane. All of the other cars are clean too except for whatever this is. And Nitrotype only brought back one car during the season which was the Shimura Jolly GTX LG. That car is not bad either. I also want to focus on the final reward of the season which was the uh, Max Out Shadow uh, the Maxed Out Shadow Tree. I feel like bringing this car into the season was one of the smartest decisions Nitrotype has ever made and here's why. Everyone loves the Shadow X Max Tree which was available for players several years prior but the only problem is there were a ton of people who wanted it but just couldn't get it. Nitrotype definitely could have brought it back in the shop or as a season reward but instead they took the Rocket Claws and turned it into a Shadow car. I mean it worked pretty well. Sure, it didn't get it doesn't get half the glory that the Shadow X Max tree gets, but it is still a very nice car with a nice animation as well. Other than cars, this season also had a lot of unique things about it. 
For example, the whole site had a custom theme for all players to enjoy during the season. The season also had a total of 32 rewards, which was a lot more than most of the seasons of the year. And finally, it felt balanced. Players were, who were both gold members and non-gold members were able to get a lot of great rewards during the season, which I feel like is the most important part of Nitrotype seasons. But in the end, Nitrotype gold members should still get a little more than free players, don't you think? Well guys, that is it for the video. If you made it this far into the video, hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any other videos like this. I'll tell you what, if this video hits 20 likes, I'll make a video about the worst Metrotype season. Until then, I'll see you all in the next video.